In this video, we'll continue our factorising by grouping. So here we're given an expression 3xy plus 6x plus yz plus 2z. So first we have to pair them up. If you analyse them, 3xy plus 6x probably have the most in common, and yz plus 2z have the most in common. So if we take a look at the first pair, 3xy plus 6x, so what number divides into both 3 and 6 evenly? Obviously 3. So 3 is one of our common factors. Next we take a look at the letters. They both have x, so x is a common factor. So we take 3x outside and divide each term by 3x. In the next pair, if we analyse it, we can see what they both have in common is z. So the only real common term they have is z, so we take z outside the brackets and divide each term by z. So next we complete our division. 3xy divided by 3x, that leaves us with just y. 6x divided by 3x leaves us with 2. The next pair we have z multiplied by y times z divided by z is just y plus 2z divided by z leaves us with just 2. So at this point we have it factorised but again we can go one step further. You can see there's a common term. We're multiplying 3x by y plus 2 and we're multiplying z by y plus 2 also. So we're multiplying both of them by y plus 2. So we can rewrite as 3x plus z multiplied by y plus 2. The reason for that is it's 3x multiplied by y plus 2, so 3x by y plus 2, plus z by y plus 2. So that's our factorising completed. It's 3x plus z by y plus 2. If you ever want to check your answer, just multiply out the brackets again and you should end up with what you started with. So we'll just check that. So when we're multiplying out the brackets, it'll be 3x by y, 3x by 2, then it'll be z by y, and z by plus 2. So 3x by y gives us 3xy, 3x by 2 gives us 6x, z by y gives us yz, and z by 2 gives us plus 2z. So we see, when we multiply out the factors again, we end up with what we started with. So we know we're right with the factors we have above. So that's an easy way to check your answer.